this ball is on way out of here. Late call of time. It is a hitch timer violation on Torino's ball four. Mount Castle to first. The man, he was not ready. Wow, so with eight seconds, that's wow. going to be strike three. Wow. Man, he was kind of fiddling around with his batting gloves, and it got to eight seconds. Dominican pitchers and Venezuelan pitchers. Well, time was called there. I believe there was a pitch clock infraction. So it'll be a ball and no strikes to Wendell. And by the <laughs> What a charismatic <laughs> man he is. That was great. And we got something here before the pitch. Yep, pitch clock violation on Ian Hamilton. He gets called for an automatic ball before he could even. We've got a uh, pitch clock violation on Marcus. There you go. First one of the year. I wonder how many. This inning on Friday. Pitch clock violation. Ball one. Uh -oh. We've got a uh, pitch clock violation on Marcus. There you go. First one. He's oh. out. No Ooh. way. A pitch clock violation. Wow. Sixth appearance of the year. We saw Guerra in the opener here Monday. And there's a timer violation. Side move. What a play by him. And ball player. Got a ball. Dominic. Find out to Marte and Wright his last time up. And now Garcia asks for time. Oh, they called a strike. A time oh. violation for strike three. Oh. So it's a strikeout. Now what's going on? Where's the clock? It's got. What is going on here? I'm executing a pitch. Well, there's no clock in his peripheral, hmm. you know? And so you can't uh, see it. Look at this. We just get one on. Rosario, one for three. He hit into a double play back in the sixth inning. Well, time out. Excited about this group. Finding a hole, stealing a base, moving them over. Scored some runs like that. Oh. And Chapman is going to be called for a pitch clock violation. <laughs> Zach McKinstry. Giving him a really nice reception. A welcome back video played on the board. Cody got a chance. To watch it. <laughs> All right. We got Carrasco now 36 years of age in his 14th season in the big leagues. <laughs> and immediately. He so can your heels be on the outfield grass as long as you're. A lot of fireworks early in this one. Eight combined runs. Five by the Red Sox. But. Pittsburgh got another. There will be more. Yes, there will be. If there's one in the first week, there will be more. Looks like. And we've got a. It's Oh, oh, and Cabrera stumbling as he tried to deliver that pitch, and they're going to call that a ball because he didn't get it away in time. Oh. Uh, Ray on the road so far has not given up an earned run. He's faced the Astros in five starts, has a losing record with a 4.5. The sixth inning for the first time this season, and he's pitching rather efficiently, even with those seven Ks. Pitch count might be a ball already. Yeah, they have a pitch clock violation against Bassett to start the game. He's. Oh, 
And we have all. And that is a pitch count violation. And into a culpa now. Said he quick pitched him. And now culpa is again. We also have uh, John Birdie's stolen base award will be on display. Arise. And arise with the batting title. Yeah. yeah. It'll be a big week for sure. Second, winning run at first. Giancarlo Stanton, former earlier today. And a pitch clock violation. Trying to get the last couple outs of this one for Arizona, and they can look ahead to tomorrow when Merrill Kelly, who started the championship game at the WBC for Team USA. And Ellie De La Cruz has a guy named Jose Barrero that's at shortstop right now. And he was not ready. Wow, so with eight. Lobby. Rice to Rang, an electrifying moment here at American Family Field. A seven run for. It's going to make that fastball more effective. And, and Justin, as you know, if you can't eliminate a pitch from a pitcher, it makes it that much harder to figure out. Oh, boy. Ooh, caught the top of that shin. Got that padding down. Up above the ankle. See the last five pitches. We've seen four cutters and a four seamer. He's out. Vlad Guerrero. At shortstop, it will jump inside a big league batter's box for the first time in his career. And Julio just got. Contreras. And time called. And a pitch clock violation. A timer violation, and there's a pitch timer violation, and that's an automatic ball three. Well, now it's been real close. Well, not helping his command a great deal right now, and now we've got another one. Victor Caratini did a nice job catching for Wade Miley, and time called, and a pitch clock violation. There you go. Being in a position to win this game, obviously not over yet. So far. 70 RA in the three starts. 13 scoreless innings. Boss's his first two big league starts and. He locked at eight exactly. So they're going to call Bach on Rasmussen right here for a step off. And pitch violation. You know who's looming if uh, this thing gets too far. He got judged due to that fourth in this inning. Was it constant? Only when they messed up. Okay. <laughs> so always, <laughs> in your opinion, right? Oh, we got one. We have a violation. Me a little bit, but I mean, I think Justin's glove is pretty small. And uh, pitch clock violation on the ground. And a pitch clock violation. It'll be ball one for. Trying to pick up an RBI right now. And not swinging with the broken pinky. Maybe he picked something up there. But look at Triple A last year. As balls flying tonight, he hits one. You got a game again. It's six to one. We're asking for uh, number three. You know, you watch Martin Perez's body language on the mound. There, you saw him stand behind the, the rubber. Stare out. We got a at bats like this. Put a big number on the scoreboard with one swing. And Oakland. He said he had no idea that was even a thing. He said he remembered the rule, but he didn't really understand that it was happening to him in this Dodger highlights and got a standing ovation from this Dodger Stadium crowd on his first trip back here it was head over here and then he would get the target at the last minute at the last minute he get the target remember it well and, and then they didn't want to face that either and they do not have a way to challenge it that's going to be a
That's an automatic strike. Rowdy to left. Product out of uh, Arch Mitty, Archbishop Mitty High School, and then he went on to Stanford. 25 years of age, big guy, 6'3", 200. Adam Dunn would be up, and I felt like I was at second base. <laughs> That's how close I felt to that man. Well, violation. Are yeah, it's great to see Mike Moustakis go deep. Mike swung it. Benefits, including free kids tickets throughout the season. Visit RedSox.com slash KidNation and join now to redeem your free kids ticket. Balancing himself. The example that he gave me was a sniper who rests his equipment on something to stabilize it. So if you. That was nice because Soto hit the, uh, the Nelson Lamette slider. That, was, that slider last night was working nice for him. Violation. Run instead of a ground ball. Probably maybe get into the double play area or even just another guy advances of his pitches he works at the bottom of the zone whether it be the fastball whether it be the slider or his split fingered pitch he works at the bottom of the zone and the Dodgers you're hearing the home plate umpire Lance Bark JP oh, uh, one for two beg your pardon he got a base hit man clock line is a fact got a great smile that is a fact We have got a pitch timer vibe. prior to the next time we threw it down because it's the problem is it's from the booth. It's really good against yeah. fastballs. Yeah, no, I get you. It's a long run from the booth down there. <laughs> Give me a timeout. I just don't think it's going to change anything, but it's probably the right thing to do. And now uh, in this in this at bat, Stan who poked the home run over the short porch and right. Leading off this eighth inning. Yeah. We're getting that mental help. And a violation here. Destroyed us. <laughs> and uh, you know, he had a couple injuries last year. We had hoped that he had. 25%. Uh... Anyway, by the way, we got some bigger bases. I'm not sure if you heard about those. Uh... Pitch clock. Pitch. It's been rare, but. April weather out here has been better in, in California. No, nah, I had my time. I let my I let my little guys do it now. That is a pitcher violation on Brazier. Went six, no decision. JP Sears four and two thirds, no decision. As we are all knotted at three. One two pitch. And we had a and they just gave Otani a violation. We have time called. And no, they're going to call it a violation, I believe, against he pointed at the Gordiorme got quick pitched. Wait a second, what do we have now? Time. Ball. Yep. 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 Called up. But I Coming out of retirement and pushing his Hall of Fame clock. Uh, uh, oh. yep. He always had that mentality and always had that good breaking ball. Yeah, I think it's hard to for any. Can't control. And I think one of the differences with Patrick the last year or two. But fastball moving it around. You see there, 54%. Four. He's not happy with some of the swings he's taking against this Tigers pitching. I think he's really starting to get frustrated. Pretty good base running by Whit Merrifield. Full deflation. 